Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Mess. So, Terrican Recruiting Series, the unported playlist, where I take a look at some of my favorite unported arcade games of all time. But it is April, and that means we are kicking off the third series of Janktoberfest, where I take a look at some of the jankiest arcade games of all time that are still fun in some way, shape, or form. And if you can't tell already, we're starting off Janktoberfest this April with Time Killers, which you would think would be an absolute Mortal Kombat clone based upon the overall violence and fighting mechanics, but it actually came out in the same year as Mortal Kombat. So, unless the developers of this game Game had spies inside of Midway. It is just a happy coincidence that both of these games lean on violence to try to sell arcade cabinets. The only difference between this and Mortal Kombat is one of them is a good game and the other one is Time Killers. Before you get far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. Definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined on us part of Patreon, we have a link down below as well. But if you don't, I promise I will not lose my head. All jokes aside, Time Killers leans on one mechanic and one mechanic alone to try to get you to put quarters in into it in arcades and I fully admit that this got me sucked in when I was a kid back in 1992 and that is violence. If you didn't notice the other reason I've saved this video until this year is because that first level took place in the future in 2024. But Time Killers is a very unique and interesting game, which is to say it was definitely leaning on that violence mechanic to try to get you to play it. Unfortunately, while the violence mechanic is unique as far as arcade games are concerned, and having dismemberment in a fighting game is something you didn't really see, the actual fighting game mechanics definitely came in like a second to third place in the thought process. The reality is Time Killers is just not a very good fighting game. It's not a very attractive to look at fighting game. It doesn't have a very good soundtrack. It just has the kitsch factor of having violence just like Mortal Kombat did. Like I said earlier though, the difference is Mortal Kombat is a competent fighting game with a good fighting game engine, a lot of different moves, and a good play style. Time Killers is basically the opposite side of the Mortal Kombat coin. This is stiff, it is stilted, the animation is not good, and all of the artwork, graphics, and backgrounds really feel like there was not that much love put into them. Now it is a very unique mechanic to have the dismemberment and to lose one of your limbs while you're fighting. It totally changes your play style, and the fact that the developers were able to deal with that within the matches and still make them playable is a really impressive thing. There is credit where credit is due here. The actual thought process behind what could be done in a game like this is interesting interesting and unique. Unfortunately, it just is not married to an arcade fighting game that is anything other than a C tier effort. You'll find a character, you'll figure out how to play as them, but the game's difficulty, and I am playing this on the easiest setting, is also so incredibly steep. You're just going to be pumping quarter into quarter into this thing to try to see the next round. And that's basically what the 90s were like. There was so much of this trying to get your money based on shock factor alone, so much so that games like Night Trap and up going before Congress because there was a panic about these type of things. But trying to sell a video game based on violence alone was definitely a marketing technique. And apparently, if you believe the internet, this cabinet sold over 7,000 copies, which for an arcade game is highly impressive. This game was successful in the market. It was successful for the company. But as we take a look at it in 2024, you can tell that this is not the type of game that's definitely going to have any sort of longevity. You're going to put a couple of credits in. You're going to see a couple of dismemberments. You're going to realize the game isn't that fun, and you're going to move on. But I will say if you want to pick one character at the start that's at least going to get you a few rounds into the game, Thug here, the caveman character, is probably the easiest to play as. Because again, the AI is just so much magic in this game. It's going to read your inputs, it's going to know how to react, and even at the easiest setting, you are going to die in this game over and over and over again. And these character portraits are maybe some of the ugliest portraits I've seen in a game. And I hate saying stuff like that. If this is your favorite game, I'm not trying to crap on it too much. I'm just saying that the art style is not for me. I know somebody worked a long time on drawing these things. It just doesn't really age well compared to some of the other art on tap. But I will give you a sample of the soundtrack. It's not the best thing I've ever heard, but it does work within the game's context. And I'll be right back in like 45 seconds. Yeah. 
I mean, it's definitely not the worst music of all time, but this is supposed to be the future, and that gives me way more of a fantasy vibe, something like the Edwardian era as far as England is concerned. But tell me down below whether you like the music or whether you did not, but I do like you have no head for battle. You get some really kitschy dialogue lines when you get dismembered as far as the fatalities in the game are concerned. But again, this is just one of those titles. When you saw it back in the 90s and you saw the attract sequence and you saw limbs just flying off of opponents, you 100% had to put your quarters into it. So the developers and artists are very smart to get that quote unquote curb appeal in the arcades. This game screamed out, play me, see what's going on and see if you like it. And it got a little bit of money until most people moved on. But do tell me down below, do you remember Time Killers back in the day? And before you leave the comment down below that this was ported to the Sega Genesis, I totally know it was. One, that's an inferior port of what already is a shaky game, and two, the rules for Janktoberfest are not the rules for unported playlists in general. And three, I make the rules so I break them whenever I do feel like it. And as we move into the Stone Age here, this is a really unique stage, and I actually kind of like the artwork here. The backgrounds are definitely rudimentary, and there's really not much animation in them whatsoever. There's slight parallax, but this gigantic Tyrannosaurus Rex that's been hunted is a really fun visual flair. There are moments in time killers in which the game can shine you may have a good match you may get some dismemberments off you may end up in a stage where you like the colorways and the art style a little bit and then you realize that there is something in here and they did have a good idea if they had just maybe spent another 8 to 12 months developing this actual fighting engine i think this game would be way more fondly remembered outside of existing and having the dismemberments in the game but that's kind of why this game is remembered and I know it always gets called a Mortal Kombat clone, but honestly, these things were in development at the exact same time. So again, it is just mostly a coincidence that these two feature violence as one of their main hooks. And if I had to play one game, it definitely 100% of the time would be Mortal Kombat. As we switch to another character, you're going to see I just start dying here. Once you get to like the third round, even on the easiest setting, the AI is going to be able to instantaneously predict almost everything you're going to do, and it is going to have a counter to it. You'd have to play this game a very long time to see the ending or cheese basically every fight and still get lucky because you'll see there I did dismember Thug's arm but basically the minute I do that they have a counter for something else. But I'm going to give you one more taste of the soundtrack because this one actually I feel like at least fits the theming of the level. 30 seconds this time and I'll come back and tell you a little bit more about the history of Time Killers and how it ended up on unported playlist Janktoberfest. But enjoy! <laughs> I mean, I don't know what music would have sounded like back in the Stone Age. I don't even know if there was music, but if there was, it would sound something like that. And I was just thinking, where did people even come up with the concept of what something should sound like if they weren't actually there? As we move back to 2024, I don't know what your city currently looks like, but mine definitely does not look like this. And this is 100% inspired off of Blade Runner. No question about that. But Time Killers is a really unique game. It had its moment in time, pun very much intended. It was at pretty much every arcade. This reached my small town in Vermont, which means it probably reached your town as well it was there people played it they remember it but they probably don't remember much about it except that dismemberment thing and that is why time killers ends up on the janktoberfest playlist it is a very promising concept it definitely does suck you in but unfortunately once it has your money it doesn't really reward you for having spent that actual quarter on the game and it's just out of the fact that the fighting engine in this is a c tier affair it's not that fun it's stiff it's stilted the animations of the characters aren't great and once you've seen one or two dismemberments you've basically seen everything the game has to offer but tell me down below if you played this game if you enjoyed it and if you still play it today I would be curious i've got four more episodes of janktoberfest coming up so stay tuned we got a lot of fun to talk about but i am done Bye bye <laughs>